In the 2014-2015 financial year, the health ministry spent over $12 billion. The ministry largely depends on government for funding, but there are also other role players. The private sector contribution to the ministry was down from 38 to 30 percent in the 2014-2015 financial year. Donor funding also dropped by 2 percent and was at 6 percent. The funding goes to both operations, procurement of goods and services, as well as in treating health conditions. Curative care continues to dominate the health spending with a total of 59 percent but 11% less than the previous year. Non-communicable diseases, one of the greater threats to the health system, received 21% compared to the previous year's 5%. The resources allocated between communicable and non-communicable diseases, in particular the prevention of non-communicable diseases, is, is another area where we can strive towards greater efficient effectiveness of Namibia as Namibia makes the epidemiological transition from communicable diseases to non-communicable diseases. But while the ministry's total health expenditure increased, there are also areas of great hey. concern. One is the increase in household out-of-pocket expenditure, which increased from 6% to 9%. Out-of-pocket payments are defined as direct payments made by individuals to healthcare providers at the time of the service provided. If not managed, it can negatively affect households as they shoulder both household and health costs. A further concern in relation to the prevailing inequalities in health relates, uh, relates to the fact that 36% of the total health expenditure is paid through medical aid schemes and CMS, but these scheme, uh, sch schemes only cover a health expenditure of 19% of the population. This implies that 64% of the total health expenditure is used to cover the remaining 81% of our population. Donor funding has decreased significantly over the years, and this trend is expected to continue as the country is classified as an upper middle income. To keep its head above the water, the ministry is exploring other options. These are the implementation of the National Medical Benefits Fund and of the Social Security Commission, the introduction of mandatory health insurance and further increase the government budget allocation to health and the possible introduction of special taxes for health.